Welcome to Spotlight Advanced. I'm Liz Wade. And I'm Adam Navis. Spotlight uses a special English method of broadcasting. It is easier for people to understand, no matter where in the world they live. Imagine it is a hot summer day. The sun burns down on your skin. You have been working hard. You just want a break. You want something cool to eat. What do you choose? Well, millions of people around the world choose ice cream. Today's spotlight is on the history of this special icy treat. Ice cream is generally a sweetened frozen food. It is usually made from cream, sugar, eggs, and different flavors. However, there are many different ways to make ice cream. No one knows exactly who invented ice cream, but there are many stories about how it began. A version of ice cream may have begun in Persia more than 2,500 years ago. And some stories say that Nero enjoyed ice cream in ancient Rome. They say Emperor Nero would send servants to get ice from the mountains. Then he would cover it in fruit juices and honey. The kind of ice cream we eat today may have been invented in China. The Tang period in China was between 600 and 900 AD. During this period, people brought ice cream treats to the ruler. They heated buffalo, cow, and goat milk together. After a time, the mix became thick like yogurt. They added flour to the mix, and they put camphor in it for flavor. They cooled the mix in icy water. Then they served it to the emperor. Marco Polo was an Italian explorer. He traveled to many parts of the world as a merchant. When he visited China, he tried many of these ice treats. He even learned how to make some of them. Then, when he returned, he made these iced treats for his family and friends. Around this time, there were also simple treats that were more like sorbet. Sorbet is an icy treat made with ice, sugar, and fruit, or fruit juice. All of these ice cream treats became very popular in France in the 1500s. And it was not too long before they became popular all around the world. Over time, ice cream changed and developed in different ways. As you have heard, ice cream was first enjoyed only by the rich. This was because keeping food at such a cold temperature, or getting ice from a mountaintop, cost a lot of money. But over time, the methods for freezing improved, and more and more people had the money and resources to buy ice cream and keep it cold. Today, people all over the world enjoy ice cream. Some studies say that New Zealand eats the most ice cream in the world per person. But other countries eat almost as much, including Australia, Finland, the United States, China, and India. Ice cream is a big business in many parts of the world. In 2016, Researchers estimated that this industry was worth over $68 million U.S. And it is only getting bigger. Growing markets like Brazil, China, and India are buying more ice cream. Experts estimate that by 2023, the ice cream industry will be worth over $97 million U.S. Some studies even suggest that the 2020 pandemic increased ice cream sales even more. 
They suggest that people were looking for delicious food that made them feel happy. That is ice cream. So what kinds of ice cream are these people eating? Let's take a look at some of the different kinds of ice cream around the world. Italy serves an ice cream called gelato. Italians make gelato with milk, water, and different flavors. But gelato is a little different from ice cream. There is not as much air in gelato. Gelato is much thicker than normal ice cream. A person can eat smaller amounts because it is so filling and sweet. In India, a popular treat similar to ice cream is called kulfi. Kulfi has more ice in it than other ice creams. It is not as smooth. Indians flavor kulfi with foods like pistachio nuts or cardamom spice. In Japan, people eat mochi ice cream. First, people shape the ice cream into small, round balls. Then they cover these balls with mochi. Mochi is a kind of sticky rice. Some places even have a special ice cream they are famous for. In Ecuador, there is a town called Salcedo. In Salcedo, they serve ice cream on a stick. They freeze the ice cream in different layers or parts. Each layer is a different color. So the ice cream almost looks like a rainbow. There are four layers. Three are made from local fruits. And there is a top layer made of thick, sweet cream. When you drive into Salcedo, you can even see a large statue of this ice cream treat. Ice cream is also a great treat because you can make it yourself. You can make your own ice cream at home with only a few simple ingredients. This ice cream looks a little different from the ice cream you buy in a store. It is softer, but it still tastes good. Here is how you make it. You can also find this recipe on our website. To make this ice cream, you need two zippered plastic bags, one large and one small. Fill the large bag halfway with ice and rock salt. Leave enough room in the large bag to fit the smaller bag inside. Then, in the small bag, combine milk or cream and a small amount of sugar. You can also add another flavor, like vanilla or honey. Take all of the air out of the small bag and make sure you close the bag very tightly. Then put it inside the large bag of ice and salt. Here comes the fun part. Close the large bag too. Then shake, shake, shake. You must shake the two bags together for five to 10 minutes. After it becomes harder, remove the bag of milk and sugar. It should now be ice cream. Now enjoy. What kind of ice cream is common in your country? What is your favorite kind of ice cream? Tell us what you think. You can leave a comment on our website or email us at contact at spotlightenglish.com. You can also find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. The writer of this program was Sarah DeCoster. The producer was Michio Ozaki. The voices you heard were from the United States. You can listen to this program again and read it on the internet at www.spotlightenglish.com. This program is called Ice Cream Around the World. Visit our website to download our free official app for Android and Apple devices. We hope you can join us again for the next Spotlight program. Goodbye.